What's up everyone, this is Cyber Knight 8610 and today we're going to be talking about different cards that are going to be worth a lot of money in Cosmo Blazer, or at least I guess these are my predictions. Anyway, of course when a new set does come out, people go crazy, cards go up drastically in price, you know, as soon as they come out and uh, Konami just reaches inside your wallet and just takes away all your money. <laughs> it's just that special time, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead though and talk about a few cards that I think are going to be really expensive and uh, tell me if I missed any or whatever in the comments and uh, what you think will be the most expensive. Expensive. So let's get started. First off, I guess probably the main archetype of Cosmo Blazer is uh, the Fire Fist cards. Uh, the Fire Fist are getting a lot of hype. I mean, Konami's already posted, what, three, four times on their blog about this archetype? <laughs> they want it to be popular. They want it to make a lot of money. So the cards are going to be eh, pretty high in price, I think. There's already been one that's announced where the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear card is actually an ultra rare. So I can already guess this card isn't going to be too cheap on the price. You know, especially if Fire Fists are going to get as much hype as they are and be as good as everyone's saying. Uh, this card will be pretty expensive. My guess would be, if I had to throw out a number, would be about 30 to 40 actually. Would be my guess. I don't think it's going to go, you know, just boom. Maybe the first, you know, week or whatever the sneak preview is going on. But when the pack is actually released, I think it will kind of drastically calm down. And that goes with a lot of these cards too. So people out there, if there's a card you really want out of this set, don't buy it whenever the sneak preview is going on. It will be drastically higher. Wait for the pack to come out. Trust me, you will save probably, I don't know, like at least 50% or 40% of whatever you were going to spend. Sneak preview time, it is always very expensive. So yeah, I know the Fire Fist are going to be pretty expensive, and that one for sure, since it's like the only, I think one of the only like ultra rare cards, and I know it's one that I believe you actually need for Fire Fist. Uh, another one which has been announced actually pretty recently is uh, Diamond Dire Wolf. Of course, we've talked about this card many times, you can see. Uh, it's been announced that it's going to be a secret rare. So yeah, <laughs> of course they're going to do that to that card. This card was already getting a lot of hype. We already knew, it, or you know, figured that it was going to be getting some kind of rarity boost. I was hoping it would maybe just be Ultra because it was super for Japan, but no. It looks like it's going to be a secret rare. So I don't, I don't know why Konami does this to us. It's just so... Oh, it's just so freaking annoying because our cards are always so much harder to get. And uh, yeah, this one is going to be pretty hard to get. It's going to be one of those higher dollar cards. I don't really know what number to put on it, but I believe it's going to be a pretty expensive card for a lot of people. And uh, yeah, another card I think is going to be really expensive is Lightning Clover. This card's going to be more useful in the future with Harpy Ladies and all of this other wind stuff that's coming out. It has been announced what rarity is going to be for us in the U.S., but I'm already guessing that it's going to be at least ultra, if not secret. I have a bad sinking feeling that it's going to be another secret rare. So here we go again. So yeah, if that is the case, especially for secret rare, this card will be highly sought after and drastically up in price. Just boom, up in price at the beginning. Uh, but yeah, I, it's really a shame that that's going to happen with those. Uh, Pyrex Elemental Lord. All the Elemental Lords have been drastically expensive, I guess, except for the Earth one. Uh, although, after people finally realized that it was a really good card, it went up in price, but now it's kind of tipped back down in price. The Water one, it, you know, it did pretty expensive at the beginning, and now it's not too bad. I mean, what is it, like $20, $25 around in there? Uh, Pyrex, I think, is going to be actually a little bit more expensive. I think at the beginning, it will probably hit around those same levels. I mean, I know the water one hit around uh, $100, I think, at sneak preview times. So I can see this doing the same thing. Its effect is really strong, sort of like a uh, Ring of Destruction. So, you know, and it works well with a lot of decks out there. It can actually work really great with Lovels whenever they finally get their key cards, where they're going to be able to use Quasar, we're all going to run in fear. <laughs> oh god, we're all looking for that. That's the Apocalypse Day. Not the 21st. <laughs> it's whenever we get all the rest of the Lava cards. Anyway, though, this card I think will really go up uh, at the beginning. I think it will kind of mellow down in price, though, later on. You know, it'll probably be around the same as the other Elemental Lords, around the 20s and 30s, I would think. Uh, and the last card from my list, because I didn't want my list to be too long on there, and that is Breakthrough Skill. This card's been getting a fair amount of hype. I think it's going to get a little bit too much hype and be pretty expensive in the beginning, and it's really going to mellow out, you know, and not be worth a whole lot, I think, after the sneak preview. Uh, so yeah, I mean, not many people really use this card. It was really hyped. I even made a video on it. And it's an interesting card, and it might be one that could be used more in the future. It really depends on whatever happens on our ban list. Uh, that can change a lot of different cards' fates. Uh, but for now, I think it's going to be a little bit overhyped, worth an alright amount with sneak preview time, and then it will kind of mellow down, like I said. You know, it'll be a fairly cheap card. 
But yeah, those are just few of the cards off my list. Uh, we don't know a lot of the OCG cards yet that are going to be added to our set, or the TCG ones, so lists could kind of change. But tell me, what do you guys think? What's the card you think is going to be really expensive? Uh, it's a really shame those two XCs, you know, Die Wolf and uh, uh, Lightning Plover, are going to be that that they're probably going to be pretty expensive because uh, those were the main cards I actually wanted from this set, so that's a real downer. And we already can kind of guess that uh, the Elemental Lord is going to be a secret rare, too. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Um, I don't think it's been confirmed, but the other two were, so more than likely. And it, it will look awesome as a secret rare, too. I'll, I'll give it that. But yeah, please tell me what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and remember to hold on to your wallets and don't spend all your money at the sneak preview times. The cards will go down in price. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you've enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to check out the next and previous buttons that are down below so you can see some of the past and future videos that I've made. And also be sure to check out the two featured videos that are on both sides of me. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later, guys.